Luisa. I'm the Crafty Puerto Rican. Um, this channel, usually um, what I do is craft when it comes to embroidery, HTV, and all that stuff. But today, I decided to do something special. I'm going to be doing a video on how to make one of the special treats that we Puerto Rican have during Christmas and celebration of for the holiday. And it's called Coquito. The Coquito is something that comes from generation to generation in Puerto Rican families. And it's usually done um, the week before Christmas, even, even some people do it in Thanksgiving time. Um, it's a drink that is based of coconut milk, coconut cream. People use rum to make it, but you also have the option of not including any alcohol in it. This recipe varies between families and families. And not confuse it with eggnog. It has nothing to do with eggnog. It's not eggnog. It's coquito. Each family has their own recipe that their family follows through generation. I'm going to show you a recipe that my family has been doing for years. And hopefully you like my t-shirt that says relax and do some coquito. So I'm going to show you the ingredients. And this is something that you can uh, vary if you want in quantities. I'm going to do a single um, basic recipe um, you can double it up if you have a lot of people. Usually when I make coquito, um, a lot of people ask me for it. So I usually double it up so that it will be enough for everybody. So let me show you right here. So what we're going to do, first of all, you're going to need a blender, any kind of blender. If you don't have a blender, you can put it in a big bowl and you can mix it by hand. You don't necessarily have to have a blender, but it will help. We're going to be using coconut milk. And the reason why I have two in here, because I'm going to make one for you guys, but then I'm going to make a second one for the uh, family members that they always ask me for some. One can of uh, evaporated milk, one can of cream of coconut, one can of um, condensed milk. These brands, don't follow this brand. I'm using this if you know it's a different brand because it's whatever you have, any brand that you can find, okay? It doesn't have to be these specific brands. You're going to be using... Um, Cinnamon, you're going to be using star anise, you're going to be using um, the whole um, cinnamon sticks, some nutmeg, vanilla extract, and some um, cloves, okay? Now the uh, powder club, the actually whole club, club, all right? And I have them right here. I have the cinnamon sticks. I have one piece of ginger peeled, all right? That's the star anise and these are the cloves. And I'm gonna show you why we need this, all right? Also, um, we're gonna be using the star of the whole thing, rum. This is what makes coquito, coquito. If you don't drink alcohol, you don't have to add it. It's gonna stay delicious anyway, so you have the option. What I usually do is I make a, a batch with alcohol, and if I'm gonna have children in the home, uh, in the celebrations, I make another batch without alcohol, okay? So, the first thing that I do is that I'm gonna make a tea with this. And you're gonna place this in the water for five to 10 minutes or until the water becomes brown. Then you know that the tea is ready, okay? So the water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and place what I told you, the star anise, a piece of, peeled ginger, four sticks of, uh, three sticks of the cinnamon sticks and the cloves. Cloves is just a little bit. I have, I have here about 10 of them and you eyeball it. It doesn't have a specific amount. Whatever you feel that like your heart tells you to do. All right. There you go. We'll, we're going to leave that boiling. All right. And then while that is boiling, I'm going to start adding the liquid in here. I'm going to start with the evaporated milk, one can. We're going to follow with the coconut milk. And then we're going to, going to continue with the cream of coconut, one can. I don't have any nails, so 
I have to use that to open it. <laughs> and this cream of coconut, of course, is very thick. So. Get all the deliciousness of it out. Okay. And then we're going to follow with the uh, condensed milk. In my case, I um, bought fat free because I'm a little bit of health conscious. So I bought the fat free condensed milk. You don't have to, you can do the regular one. All right. I'm going to be putting the ingredients in the description box for you to have, all right? When I was a little kid, my uh, brothers and sisters, when we were little, we would fight for the can of condensed milk because we were like, we, we wanted to lick the whole thing out. So my mom had to like, you know, Make us calm down and she will choose who's going to get the can when because we used to fight for the can. Okay. And then next what we're going to go do is we're going to place um, canela, cinnamon. Canela is in Spanish. And for the cinnamon, it's going to be, it's, this one, it could be whatever your heart tells you to do. Because it's more like uh, your taste. I'm going to, usually people do one teaspoon. I'm going to do um, um, one teaspoon of canela or cinnamon. Just a little bit more. Whatever you want to do. But the basic recipe calls for one, but I usually put more than one teaspoon. Um, all right. And then we're going to do one quarter of nutmeg. One quarter of teaspoon of nutmeg. and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And a little bit more, just in case. Okay. And then we have all the ingredients already done. And um, we're looking at the, this is the water, still a little bit. Still going. I'm gonna wait for a couple more minutes, all right? It's a little bit brown, but I will leave it for a little bit more. Usually five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna leave it for a little bit longer. So people, this tea is ready. Oh my goodness, I wish you could be here. The smell in this house is amazing so I'm gonna turn it off I had to cool it down before I use it so sometimes what I do um, if I'm in a hurry and I want it to cool down right away I just put it in the refrigerator that's what I do you see the water how brown it is you see this is the tea right here okay I'm gonna strain it here and then I'm gonna pull it down. And this is the thing. So we have almost half of a cup of the tea, all right? So it started with one cup, it went down to half a cup. That way you have an idea more or less of how much time you want to leave it. If it's more than half a cup, better. But it's yield down to half a cup, 
All right. Now we're going to let it cool down. So the tea is cooled down. So we're going to incorporate the tea into the mixture. And then the most important element of the whole show, the rum. I'm going to choose to do two cups of rum, okay? Um, like I said, you choose whatever amount you want, all right? Try not to mix it with any other alcohol because it's not going to be coquito, all right? The thing about the coquito is the rum. That one makes it you no know, special, all right? And the reason why I use the two cups is because the sugar content and the mixture, it cancels the rum taste. So, you know, that's why you have to consider the, and when you decide what amount to put of rum. If you've never done coquito before, start with half a cup of rum and then taste it. You can taste it and, and work your way up. If you think it's not enough rum taste, then keep adding another half a cup and so I've been doing this for years. I mean, since I was a, my mom used to make it and I know already that two cups is what really makes it for me and for us, but it's up to you, depending on your taste, okay? And then once you do this, all is left is to mix it. Should be enough and one thing that I forgot to mention you need to have this kind of a bottle to um, put the coquito inside it doesn't have to be this kind usually uh, what Puerto Ricans do is that since they do this every year they buy the Bacardi or actually you can even use Dolku I have both if you notice here they save the bottles and they put the coquito back on those bottles um, you can, when they buy even the small um, bottle of Bacardi, which is about this size, the smaller size, they save that bottle, they clean it, they take everything up, and they put the coquito back in those, those bottles. I'm going to use this. I bought these bottles a while, while back in, at TJ Maxx. If you find them, just grab them and just keep it for next year, and then you can do your own coquito. And you can give this to people as gifts. You can put a wrapper, a nice bow, and that's what I do for my friends. My friends wait every year. Christmas season, they wait for me to do coquito because they already are in the list that I need to give them some bottles. And you know, they don't replace it. You have to replace them. So that's what I do. I keep always, I'm always searching for empty bottles in the store that they that sell like these ones and I keep them for the following year. Um, yes, so we're going to place the um, coquito in here. I'm going to be using a funnel to do that. Go like that and you put it in there, okay? And then one extra thing that I forgot to mention also at the end of every um, bottle, at the end, after you put the coquito, you're going to put a stick of cinnamon inside and you're going to keep it there. Why? Because this will keep the cinnamon taste into the uh, coquito, all right? You put one on each. I'm going to show you how to do it, all right? So let's start pouring the coquito inside the bottles. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is delicious, people. <laughs> so like I mentioned before, People make this drink, Coquito, um, for, they start making it uh, for Thanksgiving, and then they keep drinking the Coquito for Christmas. We, Latin American and Hispanic people, celebrate the Three Wise Man Day or Three Kings Day or El Dia de los Reyes Magos. 
and that is celebrated in January 6th. So we party um, the whole season until January 6th. So all those days, we offer people when they come home, coquito. Cannot people expect it that you offer them coquito when you go to their home because it's part of the tradition. So yeah. When you um, pour the coquito in the bottle, make sure that you do not pour it all the way to the top because when you cool down the coquito in the refrigerator, you have to have some room here, like in this one. You have to have some room in here to mix it, all right? If you put it too high, you're not gonna have enough room to mix it. The coconut, the coconut milk solidifies and then it's hard if you put it all the way up. You keep it until about here and then you mix it before you drink it. You have to drink it cold. Don't drink it warm. It doesn't taste the same. I mean, you can drink it warm, but you, you want the whole experience, make sure that you cool down the coquito before you drink it, okay? This basic recipe yielded about two of these, all right? When you serve this coquito, do not serve the whole thing. Uh, uh, uh. This is not to be drink like wine or to any liquor of the way. It's just a little bit. I'm going to show you what are the amount right now of the cup that if you have, if you don't have it, This is a kind of cups that you serve it on, and then you're gonna serve about half because it's very strong. Um, if you don't have this size cups, then you can use this one, but you're gonna serve it about the half way, okay? Because really it's thick and it's delicious, it's rich, so you don't serve the whole thing. I know people that can drink the whole thing, but usually when you serve it, people go visit you, you just do the half, or you're gonna serve it on this size cups, okay? Then the last step to do is to put the cinnamon sticks. Find one that is thin because sometimes they come real hard and they go through. So I'm finding, I'm gonna get one that is not as thick like this one. One in, you see? And let me see if I can find another one like that one. It. This is how you make coquito. If you ask any Puerto Rican and even uh, other countries in Latin America have adopted this drink, they know all about coquito. And like I said, everybody have a different way of doing it. This is the way that I do it. Um, people have gone even through the um, ideas of making it with flavor. Uh, pistachio, and put pistachio ice cream or pistachios in here, and they make coquito with pistachio. They have done make uh, Nutella coquito. They have make all sorts of flavor. They're all delicious. But this is the basic recipe right here. Okay. And remember, when you take it out of the refrigerator to drink, serve it cold, and you're gonna shake it. Okay. So that all this coconut that is gonna come to the top get all mixed because the coconut milk, like I said, is gonna tend to rise to the top. The coconut. Okay, so we finished with the coquito already and I'm gonna pour it. This is the deliciousness. I did two bashes, okay, for the family. So um, I'm gonna pour it. It's already cooled down. Okay. Nice and thick. That's why you need it to cool down because it becomes nice and thick. So I have someone that I want to share this with. This is my son, Josue. He is the cameraman for the day. 
So we're going to share this with him. So this is my son Josue. He was the cameraman. So I want to thank you guys for spending this time with me. I hope you like it. You're going to love it. I'm sure you're going to love it. So I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We're going to say Salud. 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 Feliz Navidad y próspero año nuevo. Bye.